Welcome to Brutally Honest Talk Radio. The article reads, uh, multiple New York Police Department officers stabbed with machete near Times Square. Officers were stabbed by a suspect wielding a machete just blocks away from New Year's, New Year's Eve celebration in Times Square. Incident occurred around 10 p.m. Uh, West 52nd Street. And the rookie officer who just graduated Friday from police oh academy. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Is okay. expected to recover. Wow. Uh, according wow. to the, uh, the press conference. He just he just started. He hadn't been a cop. He hadn't been, you know, feet on the ground for a week. Right. Suspect identified as 19-year-old Trevor Bigford of Maine, according to the police department. He was shot in the shoulder by a police officer after the stabbings and was transported to the hospital. Okay. Um, and then this short uh, statement of quote, I want to be clear that the FBI through the Joint Terrorism Task Force is working very closely with NYPD to determine nature of this attack from uh, FBI's uh, Michael Driscoll uh, will run every lead to ground. I just want to be clear, as you've heard said tonight previously, this is very much an ongoing investigation. So our ability to talk about specifics is limited. Okay. Mm -hmm. But why I wanted to talk about this was uh, the mentality of this person. New Year's Eve is when you're going into a new year. You should be getting your goals together mm -hmm. and what you want to do with your life. Mm -hmm. People are coming together for a celebration. And you know how cold it can get New Year's Eve in New York. Yeah. People are choosing to come out. They, they want, I mean, th this, can, this can happen at any time, any kind of a public event or gathering outside, they're, mm -hmm. they're wanting, they're believing in the good naturedness of people and believing that we can come together and celebrate without having to have security every 10 feet. Right. right. Where people can, people can enjoy and have this celebration. So this dude approached uniformed police officers. He knew who they were. I would say he has a death wish. Mm -hmm. right exactly. wanting to do that you can't you can't be initiated into a gang if you don't walk away and you don't survive you're right now they say he got shot in the shoulder i don't know if that was an accident they were aiming for his chest but that dude is lucky to be alive he's very blessed to be alive yes especially yeah. with, with with new york new york uh police officers and and he's like i say he's blessed to be alive and yeah. i think it was somewhere and maybe it was, I think it was the same one. Um, it, he wanted some, to be tied with Islam or Islamic terrorists or something like that. If that's the same one I'm thinking of, but yeah, I, you know, I don't with the crime wave and everything that's going on in New York city. And the fact that is, it's basically not safe um, for folks to be up there with everything that's going on. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know. They say he might have a mental health condition. He may, um, but at the same time, there is really no excuse or no reason for him to go up to police officers with a machete intentionally trying to hurt someone. I mean, it's just, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. So. And a machete, that's about halfway between a butcher knife and a samurai sword mm -hmm. about how long the, the blade is and the, the you know, the, the, the length of it and mm -hmm. very sharp. Um, another point that I was thinking of with this is this is not any kind of a firearm for the people that want to ban guns. Right now, he right. he targeted police officers. Um, the target could have very well been women, children, people of a certain race. Mm -hmm. And when, when someone is bent on destruction, there's, there's very little that you can do except be uh, be vigilant and keep your head on a swivel. Absolutely. And again, like and now you brought up a good point, talking about the um, gun bans that folks will have. Well, you know, that's and a, a machete is now an assault weapon. So yeah. are you going to ban that? You know, it's, you can't just keep going on and banning, 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 and all you're doing is taking away um, the privileges and rights of regular people to be able to, to defend themselves in this case. Or in any case, in this particular case, thank goodness the, the um, police officers had guns, so they could protect themselves and the other people that were in the area. So um, 
yeah, you, you can ban all you want to, but it's not going to keep the instrument of destruction or whatever it is out of the right. hands of criminals. Hence, that's why they call them criminals. So, right. you know, a gun ban is useless. And just trying to make that political when yeah. it, it has very it has very little to do with uh, controlling crime. It has very right. little to do with that. And I think, because uh, we, we live in uh, uh, suburbs of Atlanta, and there's a suburb here called Kennesaw. And I believe that in Kennesaw, it is the law that everyone owns a gun in their home. It is. Do you know that the, when, when they put that in place, <laughs> the crime in, in Kennesaw <laughs> dropped down like a skydiver? <clears throat> like a lead balloon. <laughs> lead it, it sends a message and letting criminals know that the women who live alone uh, men, old people, everybody's packing. <laughs> right. And there might not be a gun at every house, but good luck finding the houses that don't have the guns. Hey, <laughs> because, you know, you want to you you spin that wheel and play Russian roulette. There you go. It's on you. <laughs> so that, I mean, look, look, that, that actually deterred crime, but you're, you're not going to hear Biden and the other people that are talking about that they're, they're not going to bring that out. And then, exactly. Uh, exactly. you know, some people may have heard before, I just want to remind folks, uh, most, most of the people that do these mass murders, it is not an automatic weapon. It's a right. pistol, a semi-automatic. Uh, most of them that do um, what, the, what the, the government or the police department or whoever determines what is a mass murder is four, four or more people. You know, the thing in... Uh, what at the frat house, Idaho, where the yeah. people were stabbed yeah. in there, stabbed. Yeah. And no, no guns, no guns involved. Yeah. But, but because obviously it's something going on up here. Mm -hmm. yep. So it, it's just, it's just, uh, you know, the focus being on the wrong thing with that. Absolutely. Absolutely.